Hello, fourth grade. It's Miss Flores here, and we're going to go into math lesson 107. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We just thank you for math and all the new concepts that we're learning um, this year, God. I just pray that these students would be alert and their minds would be refreshed with you, God, and that they would be able to absorb all the information that we're learning today um, and that they would be able to learn um, these skills that will carry them through their education, Father. I pray that you would bless them wherever they're at and that they would feel loved and accepted by you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so we are going to go through um, lesson 107. Well, make sure you are open up to page 705. Now, in lesson 107, it's talking about multiplying a three-digit number by a two-digit number. If we're doing a three-digit number, we could do something like um, 150, and we can multiply that by a two-digit number if we did like 22, okay? Um, it's pretty much the same thing when we do two by two, and um, we take it one place value at a time, okay? So we still would do the ones place value, so in this case, 2 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 gives us 3, and then we'd add our um, 0 here and move over to the tens place value. So 2 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10, our 1's right up there, and 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So basically what it does is it just adds another place value up here to be multiplied, um, but you're still doing the same thing and same concept as you would be doing by a two by two multiplication. So I'm just gonna add these together. And my answer would be 3,300. All right, so let's look at the different um, examples, okay? Um, we have example one. We are also doing word problems as well. So making sure that when we do solve word problems, we're looking at the numbers they give us and the questions that they are asking. All right, number one says a bakery is open 364 days each year. On each of those days, the bakery owner bakes 20 four loaves of bread. How many loaves of bread does the owner bake each year? So what we would do in this sense is we would multiply, okay? And we would take it place value by place value. So we know 4 times 4 is 16. 6 times 4 is 6, 12, 18, 24 plus 1 is 25. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Then we'd add our 0 and move over to the tens place value, okay? 4 times 2 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12, making sure we put our 1 up here. No, I can erase my 2 right here. Make sure we put our 1 right here. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And that gives us 8,736 loaves of Red. So it says that we write the three digit number above the two digit number. So the digits line up, um, making sure that they are exactly lined up. So that's going to be very, very important when you are setting your problems up to making sure that you line up your ones place value, your tens place value, and your hundreds. Okay. Um, you don't need to add a zero because I know we've done that in the past when we we're doing like addition and subtraction. You don't need to add a zero. Right. And there's no zeros here on this number, so you are not going to hang any zeros either because only the zeros hang out. All right, let's look at example two. Example two says, during summer vacation, a school principal ordered 38 paperback dictionaries for the school bookstore. The cost of each dictionary was $4.29. What was the total cost of the dictionaries? So even though we got this number second, it still has three place values. So we're going to put that on top. Okay. Do not put the three place values on the bottom, making sure that on the bottom we have our two place value number. Okay. So always put the three place value on top, whether it has a decimal or not. It doesn't matter. We can always add the decimal later. All right. So let's do this. Nine times eight is 72. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 2 is 
34. All right, and since we have our decimal, we're going to carry that over to place values right here. But we're not done, okay? We're going to add our zero here, and we're going to move over to this place value, okay? Making sure that we get rid of those numbers on top because we don't need them anymore. 9 times 3, 9, 18, 27. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so now we have our next number, and again, we're going to drop that decimal straight down, okay? So now we're going to add these two numbers together. 2 plus 0 is 2, 7 plus 3 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 8 is 13, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6 and 1 plus 0 is 1. So now our total is $163.02. All right, let's do some lesson practice together. Okay, A is multiplying 235 times 24. Again, if it is lined up next to each other, next side to side, make sure that you are also lining it up. Okay, don't write it exactly how they have it. Make sure you line it up correctly. Okay. Um, so 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 3, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, making sure we have our 0, and we get rid of these numbers, and we move over to the next place value. 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 2 times 2 is 4. So if you've noticed, okay, you're always going to have one extra on your bottom answer because we're moving over our place value, okay? So you should have one, two, three, one, two, three answers, okay? So zero plus zero is zero. Four plus zero is four. Nine plus seven, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be 16. And four plus one is five. So our answer is 5,640. All right, let's do B right next door. So they give us 14 times 430. Now we need to make sure we write it correctly with the three digit number on top and our two digit number on the bottom. Make sure and double check yours looks exactly like mine. Four times zero is zero. Four times three is 12. Four times four is 16 plus one is 17. I'm going to put my zero here. One times zero is zero. Three times one is three. And four times one is four. And we're going to add those together. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus zero is two. Seven plus three is ten. Carry our one over. One plus one is two plus four. And we get six thousand twenty. One dollar and twenty-five cents times 24. All right, 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And we're going to put our decimal over to place values. We're also going to add our 0 and move over to the next place value. We can get rid of these as well, too. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. So now we're going to add those, and again, we have our decimal in the same place. All right, the zeros come straight down, and our decimal comes straight down. And we add these together, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 2 plus 1 is 3, and we get $30. All right, B, 416 times 32. 6 times 2 is 12, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, and you get 3. 4 times 2 is 8, we put our 0 underneath. 6 times 3, 6, 12, 18, I left my 1 over there, so we're just going to leave it. 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and we add those together. 2 plus 0 is 2. 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 4, 10, 11, 12, 13. And 2 plus 1 is 3. 
and we get um, 13,312. All right, letter E, $6.25. Times 31. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. And 6 times 1 is 6. We bring the decimal over to place values. We're going to add our 0 here and move over one place value. 5 times 3 is 15. Oops. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And 6 times 3 is 6, 12, 18. Again, we're going to move our place value over 1. 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7, and our decimal comes straight down. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry over the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have $193.75. All right, last one for homework lesson practice, 562 times 47. All right, seven times two is 14. Seven times six is 42, plus one is 43. Seven times five is 35, plus four, 35, 36, seven, 38, and 39. And then we add our zero and we move over place value. Four times two is eight. 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. And then we add them together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 makes that 14. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So we have 26,414. All right, let's go ahead and do some homework together. All right, number one, it says Carrie drove to visit her cousin who lives 3,000 miles away. If Carrie drove 638 miles the first day, 456 miles the second day, and 589 miles the third day, how much fur farther does she need to drive to get to her cousin's house? Remember, the cousin lives 3,000 miles away. So this is our magic number. Okay, so we need to get to our magic number. So that means we need to add up what we have and see what we need to do. I see what we have left. All right, so I know that 9 and 8 is 17, so I'm just going to add those in my head together. And then from 17, I'm going to add 6. So 17 plus 6 is what? It's 23. So the 3 comes down and the 2 gets carried over. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. So the 8 comes down and the 1 gets carried over. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. And 11 plus 5 is 16. All right, so we do not have enough. So that means we need to subtract to see how much more we need to get to our magic number. Yay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and borrow from this 3. This becomes a 2. And now we have our 10 over here. The 10 then becomes a 9. This becomes a 10. And that becomes a 9. And then we finally have enough to borrow. So 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So that means we still have 1,317 miles. All right, let's do number 6 because we just did that yesterday. It says to write the reduced fraction of each number. All right, so A, we have 4 fifths, okay? Um, what are the factors of 4? 1, 2, and 4. Okay, one, two, and four. Does five have this, any of the same factors? The only factor that five has is the same is one. So that means that our answer for this is four over five because five is a prime number and you cannot reduce a prime number. All right, B, we have five over 10. Five is a factor of 10. So we're gonna divide by five over five. 
five goes into five one time and five goes into 10 two times. So our new fraction is one half. All right, C, we have four over 10. Is four a factor of 10? No, but what factor do they share that is the greatest? So four, remember we have one, two, and four. Okay, so that means it's not four and we can't use one, so we're gonna have to use two. So let's divide this by two over two because we know that two is a factor of 10. Two goes into four two times, and two goes into 10 five times. So our answer is two fifths. For number seven, I'm just gonna write this out for you because I noticed that on some of um, homework, you guys have been writing these incorrectly. So make sure you're writing and saying these correctly. So we have three hundred. We don't write and. I know sometimes we might say and, but we actually don't write and because it's actually pronounced three hundred seventy. Four, make sure you have your hyphens. Now, we have our All right, let's do number 10. Number 10 says the con concession stand at an elementary school basketball tournament earned a profit of $850. Wow. During a three-day tournament, about how much profit was earned each day? So they had a three-day tournament. That means we need to divide 850 divide by three. Three goes into eight how many times? two times three times two is six and we subtract eight minus six is two and we bring down the five how many times does three go into 25 um eight times because eight times three is 24. 25 minus 24 is one and we bring down the zero um three goes into ten three times Three times three is nine, and we have one left over. So we have a remainder, um, and I did that wrong because the question says about. So if you did it exactly like this, um, what we should have done, class, was to round up to 900 and then divide. But 900 divided by three is actually a really easy problem, so we could do that super quick. Three goes into nine three times, and then we just add two zeros. So your answer is not 283, okay? Because the question asked you about how much, so that means we needed to round. So your answer is $300, okay? 21 is eight over 15 plus six over 15, okay? Again, we don't do anything to the denominators. We leave them the same, and we just add straight on top. So eight plus six is 14, and we carry over denominator, and we get 14 over 15. All right, 22, same thing. You only add whole numbers with whole numbers and mixed numbers, or sorry, and fractions with fractions, okay? So we are subtracting here. So four minus three is one, and the denominator comes over. And four minus one is three. So our answer is three and one fifth. Let's do number 28. It says, if each side of an equilateral triangle, is two and one fourth. Okay, what is the perimeter? So that means that each side is two and one fourth. Okay, so we're just gonna add all three fractions together: two and one fourth plus two and one fourth plus two and one fourth. Okay, adding the fraction, the denominators: one, two, three, and our denominator is four, and then our whole number is two, four, six. We get six and three fourths inches. All right, I'm going to do 29 with you. 29. It says A, write 35 as a product of two factors as many ways as possible, okay? So when we're talking about two factors, or we're talking about the, the different factors of 35, okay? So what are the factors of 35? Okay, we have 1, 5, 7, and 35. So the way we're going to do it as a product means that we have to multiply. So that means we can multiply one times 35 because that equals 35. And we could also do five times seven because that equals 35. So you see how they're products, meaning they're multiplication equations to get the product, okay? All right, B, it says write 35 is the product of a prime factor, okay? 
when we do that, that's when we can do our tree right here. And again, we know that five and seven are prime numbers. So we would write our answer as five times seven. This is our product of prime factors because these are our prime factors right here. Number 30, it says use the distributive property to multiply 23 and 36, okay? So when you're doing distributive property, that's when you have to expand one of the numbers, okay? So don't write it in standard form, okay? The standard form would just be 23 times 36, but expanded form would be 23 times 36 equals, because it's the same thing as if we were to do 23 times 30 plus 23 times six, okay? That means that we expanded our 36 to be 30 and six, because if we were to add those together, we'd get 36. So let's solve this problem, okay? So three times three is nine, and three times two is six, and we can't forget our zero, so we have 690, plus six times three is 18, six times two is 12, plus one is 13, so we have 690, plus 138. Eight plus zero is eight. Nine plus three is 12. Six plus one plus two, or sorry, six plus one plus one is eight. And our answer is 828. All right, fourth grade, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I can't believe we're up in the hundreds in our lessons. You guys are doing so much and working so hard. And I hope that you are, um, Still doing your best for the Lord, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.